Today, main battle tanks are considered a key component of modern armies. They're incredibly powerful and devastating and make use of the best armor, weaponry and countermeasures. In today's video, the Buzz will present the 8 newest main battle tanks of the world that just entered service. So let's get started. Firstly, we have the Karar, which is an Iranian third-generation main battle tank. The tank was unveiled in 2017 and was in service in 2020. The main armament of the Karar consists of a 125mm smoothbore gun fitted with a fume extractor and a thermal sleeve. A remotely operated weapon station armed with a 12.7mm machine gun is mounted on the roof of the turret. The main gun is able to fire anti-tank laser-guided missiles and is supposedly fitted with latest generation of composite armor with explosive reactor armor panels mounted on the front of the hull and turret. There is also armor plates on the sides and slat armor at the rear of the hull and turret. Next, we have the T-80 BVM main battle tank, which is an improved variant of the T-80 BV. It was unveiled for the first time in 2017. The T-80 BVM has been upgraded to provide somewhat better armor protection with a relic explosive reactor armor kit installed. The relic protects against tandem warheads and decreases APF-SDS round penetration by more than half. Rubber side skirts with built-in armor plates are also installed. The cage armor protects the hull and turret from the rear, and the 125mm smoothbore cannon is retained on the T-80 BVM. It does, however, utilize a 2A46M4 cannon that was recently built and has a greater range. Up next is the Leopard 2A7V, which is the most recent and upgraded variant of the legendary Leopard 2. The Leopard 2A7V has been developed by Kraus Maffei Wagman to meet the requirements of the German Army. In 2017 to 2019, German Army ordered 205 of these tanks. It is more sophisticated with a laser range finder and a thermal imaging equipment. The new tank equips with a modified barrel that gains advantages through better dueling capabilities. The barrel of the 120mm smooth barrel cannon has been hardened and can fire future modern range extended ammunition. It is also equipped with the Trophy Active Protection System. Next, we have the VT4 main battle tank, also known as MBT-3000, which is a Chinese third-generation main battle tank built by Norinco. The VT-4 has a 125mm smoothbore cannon capable of firing APF-SDS, HESH, heat and high explosive rounds and guided missiles. There is also a remote weapon station on the turret armed with a 12.7mm heavy machine gun. This tank is protected by a dual layer protection consisting of composite armor and FY4 explosive reactive armor. According to the chief designer Feng Yibai, the frontal protection force is equivalent to 500mm homogeneous steel armor and the explosive reaction armor is around 700mm. Up next, we have the T-90M. This is an improved version of the T-90 tank and the armor protection on the updated T-90M has been enhanced. It replaces the earlier Contact 5 with relics built in explosive reactive armor, which protects against tandem warheads and significantly reduces APF SDS round protection. The T90M is equipped with a new 2A46M4 gun that has a greater range and is 15 to 20% more accurate than the T90's basic 2A46M gun. It is also capable of firing APF-SDS high-fragmentation rounds and can launch 9M119 Reflex anti-tank guided missiles. These missiles can engage low-flying helicopters and have a range of 4 to 5 kilometers. Next on the list is Leclerc XLR. This is an updated variant of the Leclerc main battle tank designed and manufactured by Nexter Systems in France. The Leclerc Scorpion has received an upgraded armor package that incorporates more modular protection on the hull and turret. 
The engine compartment is protected against RPG assaults by heavy passive armor in the front and wire cage armor in the back. The XLR has an open electronic architecture, as well as the modern contact tactical radio system, NBC protection system, night vision equipment, and the Scorpion information and command system and accompanying displays. Up next, we have the Leopard 2PL. This is a modernized version of the older Leopard 2A4 used by the Polish Armed Forces. The modernization of the Leopard 2A4 to the 2PL standard includes the strengthening of the ballistic resistance of the turret to a level exceeding that of the machines in the Leopard 2A5 version. The tank is designed to master and maintain the area and support fire from deck weapons of mechanized and motorized units in all weather conditions, both during the day and at night. The main armament of the tank remained the Rheinmetall RH120 smoothbore gun in the L44 version, but it was modified to adapt to the use of new types of ammunition, that is DM63 armor-piercing shell and programmable DM11 ammunition. Last but not the least, we have the Abrams M1A2 SEP V3. This is a modernized version of the US Army's Abrams main battle tank. The latest version outperforms its predecessors in terms of protection, survivability, and lethality. The MBT measures 9.7 meter long, 3.7 meter wide, and 2.4 meter high and is manned by a crew of four, including a driver, a commander, a loader, and a gunner. The MBT's primary armament is a 120mm smoothbore M256 cannon that can fire MA-29A4 advanced kinetic energy and advanced multipurpose ammunition to protect armored vehicles, troops, and low-flying aircraft. A new armor package is integrated into the hull and turret for improved protection against threats from improvised explosive devices. The SEP V3 was driven over 2,000 miles in harsh circumstances, over three seasons of subarctic weather, shot hundreds of rounds for accuracy in severe cold, and had its auxiliary power unit, among other subsystems, tested. The SEP V3 can operate in the cold, which is a need for winter operations in Eastern Europe, where the Army's heavy brigades are most likely to be deployed for war against high tech opponent. And that's it from the bus for today. Thank you guys for viewing in. Bye-bye.